Hey, how's it going? I'm Oliver Cronati. This is Paul Ingram from Ingram Cronati. I'm going to talk about how to properly measure your bespoke custom tailored suit. I'm going to be looking at everything. I'm going to be looking at the slope of your shoulders, to the curvature of your back, to the shape of your chest, to the stomach, and I'm going to be taking measurements from the neck all the way down to your cuffs. All right, so let's get started. So what I want to do is I'm going to make sure that I'm not choking Paul. I'm going to take the neck measurements. Make sure you locate the Adam's apple. He's going to be looking straight forward. Make sure it's not too tight. You're going to have two finger lengths underneath and you're going to take that measurement. The next thing that we're going to measure is we're going to make sure that we get the shoulders. They go towards the back, 90 degree angles. So you're going to put both hands here so you can actually find where the shoulders start and where they end. And you're going to start on one end. Take the curvature all the way up towards the neck all the way towards the other side. Make sure it's nice and snug, and then you're gonna take that measurement. We're gonna have Paul turn around again. Now we're gonna go towards the chest, big burly chest. We're gonna go all the way up to the armpits. We're gonna go towards the front of his chest. Make sure it's down. But before I take the measurement, I wanna make sure that this tape measure is as high up as possible so I can make sure that I'm making this measurement properly and we're gonna have Paul turn forward two finger lengths, nice and snug. And then, again, you're gonna take the measurement. Next thing I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna go for the stomach. Thank you very much. Now I'm gonna to go towards the curvature of the sides and I'm gonna take the fullest portion of the stomach as well, which, is, which tends to be around the navel. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and snug. Two fingers underneath. I'm gonna be able to take that measurement. The next measurement that I wanna take is the length of the arms. So again, I wanna to start towards the end where that 90 degree begins on his shoulders. Start over here, locate his elbow. Once I locate Paul's elbow, there it is, right there. I'm gonna put my other finger, keep it in place. Follow that curvature of his forearm all the way down to the first knuckle of his thumb. And that's where I wanna be able to take that measurement. Make sure it's nice and snug. The other thing I wanna measure from here is his bicep. You know, Paul does work out a lot, so sure I get this right because he's athletic the guy is athletic this is what separates off the rack versus bespoke all right so I've got the medius portion of his bicep if he's a righty or lefty you might want to check that two fingers underneath take the measurement nice and snug the next thing I want to do is have Paul lift up his sleeve just a little bit thank you very much sir and I want to be able to make sure I get this nice and snug right here at the wrist I'm going to take two fingers underneath Take the measurement, and there you have it. All right, so now that we're done with the arm, we're gonna go towards the slacks. We're gonna go towards the waist. All right, so we're gonna go towards the back. Make sure you're following the contours of the belt, where his belt line would go. You wanna make sure it's nice and snug. Again, two fingers underneath, and you wanna take that measurement. The next thing we wanna do is, since we are in this position, you're gonna go to the medius portion of the hips, the back, and the widest portion of the hips, so we're measuring the hips at this point. Gonna have Paul turn towards me just a little bit so you guys know where you're actually measuring. Medius portion of the hips. There we go. Have Paul turn forward. Make sure it's nice and snug, two finger lengths underneath, widest portion of the hips, and you're gonna take that measurement. All right, from here, we're going to take the outside measurement from the waist all the way down to the bottom of the floor. So you're gonna find the top part of his waist Right over here, make sure it's nice and snug. You're gonna follow the contour of his leg all the way down to the ground. Don't stop where the pants are. You wanna stop all the way down to the floor. And once you get to the floor, because he's wearing his favorite pair of shoes, you wanna take about an inch to about an inch and a half from the floor up, okay? The next thing that we are going to do is on the inside. So we have the inside, the inseam. You're gonna go as high as possible. And then from here, we're gonna measure all the way again towards the floor. And once you hit the floor, you're gonna go, go about an inch to about an inch and a half off the floor, okay? So now we're gonna work our way down. We're gonna go for the medius portion. This guy works out a lot, man. <laughs> this is very important. Get that medius portion of his thigh. Dang, this is work out, man. Get that medius portion of the thigh all the way towards the top two finger lengths underneath. Again, nice and snug, and you're gonna take that measurement. Now we're gonna work from that thigh. We're gonna get towards the knee, get the measurement 
of the knee. Locate the kneecap. It's important to find that kneecap. All right, go around that kneecap to the back of the knee. There's this kneecap. And then you're gonna take two fingers underneath, make sure it's nice and snug, and you're gonna take that measurement. All right, last but not least, when we're talking about the pants, is the cuff width. So if I have Paul face towards the right just a little bit, now we get to the bottom portion right here, you wanna pinch this, all right? You wanna pinch this portion right here and towards the front part, and we're just gonna measure halfway. That's all you really need to do to measure the cuffs. So I'm gonna go from the front, pinch it, follow the contours of the slacks towards the back, make sure it's nice and snug, and you're gonna pinch it there, and you're gonna take that measurement because you multiply it times two, and you've got the cuff circumference, all right? Now, last but not least, we want to make sure that this thing fits perfectly. I want to check the contours of your shoulders to see whether or not it's square, to see whether or not it's sloped down too much, regular. I also want to check the posture of your back to make sure it's not hunched over <laughs> too far back, nice and normal, nice and athletic. We also want to check the curvature of your chest, all right, athletic. Is it in? Is it big? To also the stomach. Is it muscular? Does it have a little bit of uh, extension, we want to be able to make sure. Last but not least, we want to be able to make sure we check from the waist down, the back part, the seat of the pants, all right? We want to make sure that it's, it's uh, if it's muscular, if it's normal, or if it's flat. We want to be able to make sure we take those measurements. So if we have Paul face forward, and there you have it, total measurements for a V-spoke suit for Ingram Kernati.